Putin put 150,000 troops on the eastern border of Ukraine. Military equipment as far as you could see. Now he was doing this to test, to see what NATO and the United States would do. When Biden said, Putin is going to invade Ukraine, but we're not going to put boots on the ground. Why would you make a statement like that and tell your opponent what you're going to do or not going to do? Now, you need to look at the documentary of Putin and the five presidents. He judged him to be very weak. So on the 24th of February, 2022, he crossed the border into Ukraine. Now would have been a good time for you to look at the documentary between Khrushchev and Kennedy and the Cuban Missile Crisis in 1962. That will show you how different men at different times handled a similar situation. But once they crossed the border, Putin crossed the border into Ukraine. Now you need to watch the documentary of George Bush Sr. and his allies, Hussein invading Kuwait. There again, it will show you how different people at different times handled a similar situation. And so here we are, one year, four months later, Putin has almost destroyed Ukraine, and human suffering is beyond belief. It is so bad, and he has so much power, it's affecting the world economy. The stakes are so high, and we let Putin use Ukraine as his playground. Do not let Putin win this war. Right now, China is the greatest threat to the world. And with the resources of Russia, it's something to really, really think about. We could have another world war just because of China and Putin in bed together. But the reason I made this video, I'm trying to tell you, we have a dog in this race. And if we don't let Zelensky win this war, we're gonna lose the race. We'll be the next Ukraine.